Hey everybody, this is Ken with Ranger Dog Training. Does your dog speak English? We're gonna teach you how to communicate to your dog. Now let's go to the video now. Hey everybody, this is Ken with Ranger Dog Training. This is day one of training with Yukon. This is part of our video series. We're gonna um, basically teach Yukon how to understand us and we can understand us. Our dogs do not speak English. We can talk to them in a whole bunch of different words, sentences, and get them to do stuff, but they don't understand it. So I could tell, you know, I want Yukon, I need you to sit down now. He has no idea what I'm talking about. Dogs know how to sit, but we want to get them to sit and stay. So our protocol for this is, it's very simple, is dogs work for food. Think about a dog, if he's out in the wilderness, the dogs are gonna to have to hunt for their food. The rabbit's not gonna come or the squirrel and jump into their bowl. Hey everybody, here is the video y'all been waiting. This is our first episode. We're gonna work on condition marker and we're gonna condition marker behavior. So basically what we talked about in the previous video is our dog does not speak English. So we're gonna have to teach them our marker behaviors. Um, I work on two good uh, markers and one is good. It means that you're working, you're doing what you're supposed to be doing and I mark it with good. And the other one is break. You're free, you get to have fun, you get to do whatever you do. We have some um, negative reinforcement markers. This means no, uh-uh, we're not doing something. What we also do is we take away their food. And to do this program, basically we're gonna use food as their motivator. If your dog's not motivated, it's not gonna work if they're not motivated with food. So, well, we have, uh, what we got here? Yukon next to me. And we're gonna be working with a few dogs today so you can see a little bit of a different uh, energetic um, style with the dogs and get them going. Uh, we're gonna probably have Yukon, we'll have probably Bella, and we might just pull one of the dogs out of the, uh, that are boarding with us and just work with them, that someone I has never worked with before, and then work with them and get them in the program so you can kind of see a little bit of different, different dogs. So you, your dog might have more energy, your dog might be a little bit more calm and relax, they motivate them, but they have to be food motivated. How do we do it food motivated is we use their food throughout this training series um, for the first part is we're gonna use that for um, the motivation. So their food, instead of going in their bowl, is gonna go into our pouch, our fanny pack, whatever we have, it's gonna go in there and we're gonna use that as our marker. To start off with good, basically we're not gonna ask the dog to sit. We're not going to ask them to do. Ask them to sit. Most dogs already know how to sit, but we're going to go over that in the next video. But to get the dog to come to us, sit, and break. So we're going to teach them basically those sounds and what this means, and we're going to reward those actions. We have a limited amount of time to mark that uh, behavior that we want. You know, it's about two to three seconds, and we got to reward it right away. So if we have. Uh, that we have Yukon in front of us, and Yukon's in front of us, and we're gonna stand in front of them, and we get them as soon as they, we might lean into them to help them out, they get them SIT, they sit, we reward it as soon as their bum hits the ground. Boom. Now if we want him to get the break, we're gonna use our body, remember the four um, communication, we're gonna use our body language, we'll have our leash, we'll walk backwards, get him to come to us, and we're gonna say break at the same time. But in the beginning, we're just gonna say good. Good, good. They focus on us, good. This is also gonna work when we start working with recall, uh, our downs, our place commands. But we're gonna, later on, we're gonna use our place command to give them a target to sit on. Give them a target to go to place. Give them a target to go to that. But we're not gonna say the word go to place. We're gonna take that motion and we're gonna guide them to their place to get them going there. So say if, um, Yukon, like we said, he's going to be sitting in front of us. So say he's sitting in front of us, but he doesn't stay in a sit. We're going to go, uh-uh, nope. 
that's our negative reinforcer and we're going to take the food away so the restaurant closes so we're going to put the food away wait till they get get them back into an sit we're not going to reward them then because then they're going to get in the habit of getting up getting down getting up getting down to reward them we're only reward them when we ask them sit give them the reward down give them the reward but if they don't do it we're gonna have to show them get them into that position and then we go back back up you're gonna do this two to three hundred times you're gonna work on this foundation with the dog you know it might take you a day it might take you two days some dogs it might take you even a week patience is the biggest thing most people that fail with working with um, their dogs is they give up just before the dog's about to get it you know so you know we're gonna say dog down and we're gonna guide them in the beginning and that's where this this comes in as behavior modification getting them into their their you want to say their zone because they live in the moment so we're gonna get them to go down we're gonna guide them into it then we reward them we're gonna guide them into it and then once they can do it, and I can just say sit without any rewards and we'll start phasing the food out um, right now we're not gonna give any really corrections to the dog because my philosophy of talking to the dog and giving them corrections is to I can't correct you until you know it I can't correct you till you know it so it's like when we take our driver's test we learn what we're supposed to do so now if we get caught speeding we know we shouldn't speed there's a consequence we get a speeding ticket um, so this is the same thing with the dog is we can't correct the dog and scold the dog whatever you want to do is till they learn the action so that's why we're gonna do the behavior modification remember those words good to me means you're working and I don't teach stay because when I tell a dog to SIT or sit they're gonna be in a sit and that's it if they're gonna go into down that's it if they're gonna go into a place that's it you don't have to teach stay and that's why we teach the word break to get off so good means you're working we'll build on duration and we're gonna work on that it's going one two three break and then we're gonna start going so that's why in, in our next video when we start teaching place we're gonna get them going to a place and then we'll start working on duration and get them breaks so they can come off so now they have a target to work on so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the video so just remember those those uh, two uh, positive words that they're gonna learn is good break good means you're doing a good job break you're free have fun and then we're gonna lose those negative is no if you want to use uh-uh that's fine and then we take away their reward okay so let's get to our first dog and we'll start working with them and then we'll film from there with our second third fourth third. we'll see how many dogs we're gonna do today the video might be a little bit longer but let's go have some fun dog here is Yukon and Yukon is a five-month-old Weimaraner. Yukon is very energetic he likes to jump and all that so we're gonna start working on his behavior modifications which time will help him with uh, his jumping and everything so Yukon is so intrigued in the ground and everything so we're gonna start introducing to Yukon hasn't eaten his lunch today so he should be food motivated. So we're gonna let him know we have some food. With his treats, I like to use their kibble, I might use some Bill Jack, as to get them to be food motivated. So now, Yukon knows that I have his food. We're gonna work on, remember, good and break. Good and break, we're not gonna say the SIT. Good, break, good, break. So we're gonna get some engagement in us. So come on, Yukon, so we can in the frame. Yukon. Good. So right there, I was too late. I should have went to hit, hit that as soon as his bum hit the ground. So if I want to do break, so I can say break, he has no idea. So we're going to start doing this. Is we're going to go, you come. Good. I'm not adding that word into it yet. We're going to back up to get him to come to us. 
if you're scratching like this, all I'm going to do is back up. Good. 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 So what we're doing is we're working on the word good means you're doing your job. I move my body. Body's one of the uh, conditions that dogs understand. Body. Good. So I might add duration in there. I'm going to go good because it's staying in the position. Good. 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 So now he's automatically gone into his SIT. So what we're going to start doing is we're going to start layering in the words. So here's that sound. The dogs don't speak English. Sit. Good. Great. Good. So good means he's doing his job. Break him free. So we're going to go. You can't. Tap the monitor, get attention, sit. Good. You can't. Break. Good. You can't. Sit. Nope. So, he went to a down. We don't want that. It's no. Sit. Good. So, right now, we're not going to correct him right yet because we could. We could have said, I want to correct the dog and get him back up in the seat. But right now, we want to get Yukon. Out. Sit. Good. Break. Good. And I don't mind Yukon being energetic. But say if Yukon uh, jumped up on me, I'm going to say, no, uh-uh. And I'm going to take his reward away from him. Yukon. Sit. Good. Car drove by, he got a little distracted, but he stayed in his SIT. Good. So I'm going to reward that he went back up into a sit. And you can reinforce the word sit. It's a good sit, good sit. I want you to get in the habit of asking your dog to sit, sit, please sit, sit, sit. Because they're going to start picking out which tone they want. You can break. Good job. Come. You can Sit. Good. As soon as his bottom hits the ground, we're going to hit that word good that he's working. We got the sex right today. Last week I kept on calling you girl and a boy. You can break. Sit. Good. So now we're going to start phasing the, the food out a little bit. Get into SIT first and then reward him. You come. Let's go. You come. Sit. Good. Then I reward him right after. So he's not work, waiting for the food. I'm not luring him anymore. So, you kind of got out of his SIT. We're not going to reward him because he got out of it. And that's why you're going to do that duration. So, you kind of break. So, next step is to build that duration. You are human out today, buddy, right? You can't. You can't sit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. Break. Good. So think of it this way is the whole scenario of the action of him doing an SIT doesn't end until he's released from it. So you can sit, and then we count it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and then we break him. He got rewarded at the end. 
So we're gonna go Yukon. Sit. Good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Great. You give me like, where are my food? So some people ask me about treats, whatever they like. The best thing I like to use is their kibble. If you withhold their kibble from them, boom. So, say the Yukon's doing so good. Yukon, back up, give them tension towards you. Sit, good. So you can do this is, so you don't have to keep them one, two, three pieces at a time. You go, okay, great, good job. He gets a whole big bunch of pieces, he gets a reward, and he eats a whole bunch. Because you're gonna go through that cup of food throughout the day working with the, we like to keep our training sessions 10, 15 minutes at a time. We want to keep them short, to the point, and what they need to do. I usually like to make sure the dogs have gone out potty. So Yukon did the potty business before we started. Yukon, sit. Good. Nope. Right. Good job, Yukon. So what I did there is I added a little bit more distraction with my body and I moved him to move back but he has to stay in his SIT. So we used that negative reinforcement, his no, that he has to stay there and we didn't reward him. Then once he went back I said good, then I break, broke him out of a thing, come here you come, good boy, you come, sit, one, two, So he went to a down. I stepped back, got him out of his down, got him back into an SIT. So, boom, boom. He kind of break, good. So now we're stretching out his rewards. Boom. We're stretching out his rewards from as soon as he gets the SIT. You can sit, good, no. Nope. Good. So we went to a down. We gave him a no. Backed up, got him back into an SIT. But we didn't reward him. Break. Good job. So now we can start doing this. Is Yukon. Sit. Good. Break. All right, boy. I, towards the end, I'm trying not to have the food in my hand. It's too much luring. In the beginning, we're going to look. Say, Yukon had no idea where to sit is, so we're going to have to guide him. Yukon, come here. Ten, you don't know nothing. No. Yukon, <laughs> come. Yukon, sit. So I'm going to push it over his head, and then I'm going to get him to eat. There you go. Come on, boy. Come on. Yukon, we're going to go just a little bit more. Yukon. Ready? Okay. Tap him on the shoulder to get his head. Sit. Good job, you come. And this is going to end it for him right now, and we're going to start with him later. You come. Break. And he gets a big reward. We're going to go that. We're going to go bring out another dog. It's a little bit different. Uh, there's food motivated because we haven't given uh, her lunch, and we're going to work with Miss Bella. So let's go get Bella, and we'll be right back. All right, we're back. We've got Miss Bella. Bella, come on back for the picture. Miss Bella is a seven-month-old uh, Newfoundland. She has a lot of puppy in her. She's a bigger dog. She is seven months right now. I think she last weighed in at 85 pounds. Okay, Ms. Bella. We're gonna do the same thing. Good. Mark it. Bella, great. Good job. Let's go. We're gonna move her again. Bella. Good. Bella. Good. 
Let's go. Belle is very food motivated. She eats so much food. I don't even have to skip her food. But if she wasn't hungry, so now we're trying to end Bella's worrying. Bella, sit. Good. You marked her bottom hitting ground. Bella, break. Boom. Move them again. Get their attention again. Bella, sit. Good. Bella, break. Good job. We phase up the treat right there to keep her motivated. Bella, sit. Good. I was late on the reward. Bella, break. Good. Bella, sit. Boom, bottom hits it. We get her there. Bella, break. Bella, sit. Bella, break. Bella. Come. Sit. Good. Bella, break. So we're using our body to get her Bella to move. Bella. Tangle yourself. Good job. Bella, come. Over out. Bella. Plane flying overhead. Bella. Sit. Good. Bella. Break. Boom. So we're gonna do a little bit of when we're working with Bella, we're gonna work on also is I like to have them target my hand, especially when we do the break to to come towards me because when we start teaching come, I like to do is when they get to come, they have a target and I want them to touch my hand when they come. Bella, come here. Motivated jumping in that pond. Bella, come here. Sit. Good. So we're going to do what we talked about targeting for the break. We're going to go, Bella, break. And I want her to target my hand and touch it in order to get the treat. So we can do a time is Bella. So now we're working a little bit of recall, not much. Bella, sit. Good. Bella, break. You want to touch my hand? Boom. Good. Reward. And that's a little bit more going into our next video. So Bella is a little bit hot today, so we're going to let her take a break. And then we're going to come back a little bit later with another dog we might just pull out of uh, who's boarding with us and just work with that dog. So get ready for the next dog. I'll be right with you. Hey, everybody. This is Ken. We are back. We had to take a little break. It was getting a little hot out. Just remember when you're training with your dogs, if it's really hot outside, you know, do it early in the morning or late at night. I ask you a favor. If you like what you're hearing so far, please give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like that, comment below what you're looking for, what problems you're having. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell, and uh, it would help us a lot. And right now we've got Hayes is boarding with us while his family is away. So, Hayes here, we're going to do the same thing, we're going to work on our marker training uh, to shape our behavior, to guide them to what we want to do. So we're going to let Hayes know, Hayes, good, Hayes, we're going to throw it this time, great, so we got him to move. Remember, good means you're working, break means you're not working. Hayes, sit, good, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Break. So Hayes is with a great family. Hayes was a rescue from Atlanta Lab Rescue. And Hayes' family have been so patient with Hayes. He had some behavior issues when they first came. We've been working with them. Hayes. Good. Break. Job, Hayes. Come here, Hayes. Hey, sit. Good. Reward them. 
pace. But good job. We're gonna start using some targets, like some plate, uh, place platforms and targets and buckets. Haze. Beautiful haze. Good. I was a little late on that one, but that was my fault for dropping it. Getting back into SIT. Good. Case. Great. Good job, Hayes. Hayes. Have you here, buddy? Six. Good. Good job, Hayes. Hayes. Great. Good job. So just remember, we got to focus on teaching Hayes or any dog, your dog at home, to work on the word good means you're working. Break means you're not working. And then we will phase in. So when we start going to the other things from getting into focusing on the sit and stay, which we don't teach, once they sit, they're going to stay there. Phase, I mean haze, sit. Good job. Good. Haze, break. Good. So we use our hand motion there to get them in because we, I teach that target training. Haze. Good. Sit. So we try to teach that in the beginning because once we get to the recall, I want the dog to target on my hand. He comes and touches my hand. We'll start working on the heel later. Good job, Haze. Ready? Haze. So Haze is going to get a jackpot. We're going to keep it short and sweet with him because it's still hot outside. Haze. Great. Hayes' family's done a lot with him, and uh, he's lucky to have them that they didn't give up on him. Remember, most people who give up on a dog or give up on their training is they just had to work just a little bit longer, and the dog was able to catch it. Um, Hayes was very skittish, and if something happened, something he would react. So we worked on that. So, in closing, listen really careful. We're going to work on our marker work so the dog learns to know what good is. Good means you're going to, you're working and you're staying there. You don't have to say, say, you're working, stay there. Break. Break means he's done working. He gets to go. So if you focus on those, and um, then when we get to our next video, make sure you hit that subscribe button, that notification bell so you don't miss it. Um, we're going to talk, go through the phases of sit, place, down walking so make sure you stay by we appreciate it i want you to comment below if you like this video comment below where you're from what kind of dog you have and y'all have a great day thank you ken from ranger dog training